There are two main ways to download Power BI. First, through the Microsoft Store and the other from the Microsoft Power BI website. I personally prefer downloading stuff from the Microsoft Store because I do not have to worry about updating my apps. Windows updates, if enabled, automatically does that for me. So let's go ahead and let's install it together. Click on the search button and then type Microsoft Store here or if it is showing in the list, then click on it. In the search bar, start typing Power BI Desktop. When you see the Power BI Desktop in the list, simply click on that. And from here, click on Install. Let's go ahead and let's open it. One important thing that I would like to share with you is that when you're installing Microsoft Power BI using Microsoft Store, then the default version is of 64 bit. How do you check that? Click on about. And here you can see that it is a 64 bit version. If you are planning to ever import data from, let's say, Microsoft Access database, and if your MS Office is 32 bits, then you will not be able to do it. You will get an error. Let me demonstrate that. I'm going to click on close. Let's quickly import data from Microsoft Access. I have a sample database. And we get an error, which is Microsoft Access the Microsoft Ace OLED DB12 provider is not registered on the local machine. The 64-bit version of the Access Database Engine OLED DB provider may be required to read buyer.acdb. The other thing that I want to show you is how to check whether your MS Office is of 32-bit or not. Start, let's say Excel. Go to Account and click on About Excel. And here you can see it is 32 bit. So remember, if you want to access data from a 32 bit MS Office, then do not use this option. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uninstall Power BI desktop and I'm going to install it from the Microsoft website. And it's uninstalled. As we saw that my Microsoft Office is 32 bit. And in one of the lectures, I will show you how to import data from Microsoft Access. So I'm not going to use the store option to install Microsoft Power BI. I will be downloading it from the Microsoft Power BI website. So how do you do that? Launch your favorite web browser and go to the powerbimicrosoft.com website. Here, click on Products and click on Power BI Desktop. From here, click on See Download or Language Options. Next, click on Download. You'll get two options. The first is 32-bit, the second is 64-bit. I'm going to click on 32-bit and then click on Download. And it's downloaded. I usually do not prefer this way because of two main reasons. First, Power BI does not get automatically updated with Windows Update. Second, based on your work environment, you may need administrator access to install it. So if you are working in a corporate environment, you may not be able to install it from the Microsoft Power BI website. Having said that, I will go ahead and I will use this option because I have MS Office 32-bit with MS Access installed. So I'm going to double click on this, click on next, click yes in the UAC, click on next, accept the terms and conditions. If you wish, you can change the destination folder. I usually let all these installs be in the program files. Click on next. 
If you do not want a desktop shortcut, uncheck this. Click on install. And we are done. Let's go ahead and let's launch Microsoft Power BI Desktop. So this is how you install Power BI Desktop. If you do not have MS Office installed and do not plan on installing it, then can you still import data from Microsoft Access Database? Yes, you can. In such a scenario, install Microsoft Power BI Desktop from the Microsoft Store option. You obviously will have 64-bit Power BI, but that's okay. All you now need to do is install the 64-bit Access Database engine. And from where can you get that? You can get that from the Microsoft website. Search for Access Database Engine. Go to the Microsoft Access Database Engine website. Click on Download. And from here, you can download the 64-bit Access Database Engine. Now that you have Microsoft Power BI Desktop installed, let's understand the Power BI Desktop user interface.